Even if we need to, we can cut it. I don't think we're gonna have to look who's away. The Sony ZV-1. That's Zulu Victor 1 for those who thought I said B. Z. In fact, we did. So, why did we choose this camera? Mm -hmm. Give them one reason. Well, if you can't tell, it's super small. It's super compact. Far cry from the traditional Canon or Nikon, big bulky DSLRs people are carrying, looking like you're carrying a pound cake while you're trying to film yourself. In something like a national park where you're hiking two miles, three miles, four miles, five miles, or more, uh, you need something small and compact. Another reason we chose to get this camera is because it's got great focus. It's got great uh, ability to track. When you're in, in uh, walking, you can actually flip this little LCD screen around and you can see yourself. We know now it's called vlogging. So when you're vlogging, It'll track your face and it'll blur the background based on what your aperture is set. And there's a lot of flexibility with this camera too, as far as the aperture, the zoom, the white balance, the you know all the all the bells and whistles of a DSLR camera packed into this little teeny body for a little over seven hundred dollars. Little teeny body, same thing. What else do we like about it? Well. I like the price because that camera that we're shooting on right now, over, mm, technically it's over 2000 but I got it at a cheaper deal because it was used and I said, what the heck? But uh, this camera, how much was it? It was, if I, if I recall correctly, hmm, mm -hmm. it was around $701 with tax from Best Buy. Also, something you'll notice about this camera, it does not have any type of safety lanyard or stand or anything that came with it. That's one of the downfalls about the camera. We immediately are going to have to buy something else. I think, if I'm not mistaken, I think the little camera elf is bringing us a gimbal what? to go along with this so we can get some super smooth shots because honestly, when we're out hiking, I get to breathing heavy, I'm a little out of shape, and I'm going to be shaking this camera <laughs> up and down. We don't and, want to make you guys throw up. Yeah, and I think it also has stabilization built in. It does. Active, what is that? Active stabilization. So that's another reason. I did a little bit of research on this camera before we got it. A little Just, bit is an understatement. She okay. literally had Maybe seven, one. seven cameras we were going to get <laughs> before we decided to get this one. So yeah, I narrowed it down. And like I said, it was portable, point and shoot. The lens was already attached. Autofocus was probably the main thing as to why I said we should get this camera because when you are vlogging, you gotta be quick. So, autofocus is a necessity. Yes, and along with autofocus, you also get this teeny tiny little body just like this. Now, we've got it on a tripod because we're doing this in here. Like we said, this is our first time vlogging. So, we have a lot of random like old GoPro attachments and and lighting stands and little little handheld devices and things for like the GoPro and DSLRs and all. But we wanted to try to see if uh, possibly if we can get like a, just a just a cheap gimbal for this, and we can show you all some test footage um, in this video. Not only from the Sony ZV-1, handheld, low light, uh, bright light test, road in, noise, road noise uh, inside a wood shop with a lawnmower running. So I don't see anybody doing that. So that may be a first. Not only is this our first vlog, that may be a first. Two firsts, one video, that's, we're doing it. That's three, we're doing it. Three firsts. Three. Three. Okay, so we both went to school, uh, not for math. Uh, I don't think math was, we're in, more our, creative. was in our majors. We're, the, we're right brain, I think it is. We are. We're right brain, which is why we're doing this now and not crunching numbers because we don't know. <laughs> so, with that being said, we're going to insert some test footage right now. We're doing it. We are recording. What? 
Now the AC is right over there. So this is how it will sound with the AC in the shop running. As you can see, the lighting's pretty good. Pretty good. This is how it'll sound when your annoying boyfriend walks up behind you talking. Howdy, howdy, me. Flat. <laughs> this is the lawnmower, te lawn lawnmower test. And we are doing the test now. Are you ready, brother? We are ready. <laughs> Okay, just so we can hear how continuous it is. Um, that way we know how loud it is and everything like that. I think he's gonna put the garage back down. So we're gonna see how it is with the lawnmower running right outside and then the garage all the Woo! way down. This looks pretty good outside. Yeah, it does. I have the stabilization too active right now. So we'll see how this turns out. I'm using one of those Gorilla Pods, not using a gimbal or stabilizer, but we are just driving down this road. Oh. The low light test. So this is, so this is the low light test. We're inside the um, little room here. So basically, we can't really see anything. I have the exposure, um, and. So this is the low light test. You can't really see anything at all. I have the ISO cranked to 2000. Um, we're in a little room. And basically I'm kind of making this a example for if you're outside. So basically I'm kind of making this an example if you're outside. Um, so you can't really see anything. Now I will say I'm gonna cheat right here and move into the doorway. So this is where you can start to see now, the shutter speed is at, let's see, 1500, and ISO is still 2000, so you can see here, um, it's better depending on where I move it. So low light, complete low light, well I should say complete darkness, not really a lot. But as we move into right here, we just have one light above us. Um, it is better. And let's see. Let me put that to 1.8. So that makes it a little bit better. And let's go to ISO. So that's at 5,000. That's probably going to look really, really grainy. But usually you don't want to go over 800. But for this situation, we may have to. Um, and still, if I move the shutter down, it's going to look a little bit more weird, but now it's at 180, so it's better. So this is just your low light testing. We hope you enjoyed this quick little overview of the camera. This is by no means a technical overview or you us diving in deep to the camera. We've literally had it about a week. So this is just kind of our reviews and test footages of what we had so far. So hopefully this helps y'all. Uh, if you have this camera or similar camera or tell us what you like or dislike about this camera or anything, what's your favorite color, what's your favorite type of animal, are you a cat person, a dog person, or both, put it in the comments down below because we read every single one of them. Every single one. With that being said, hopefully... <laughs> We'll have a video out next week, without fail. Without fail. Okay, bye.